The Texas State Teachers Association filed a grievance on behalf of the Colleen Educators Association with Colleen ISD. Now, this grievance claims members are working in unsafe conditions. Six News reporter Cole Johnson walks us through the grievance and what the group wants to see happen. Tonight, members of the Clean Educators Association calling out Colleen ISD for alleged unsafe working conditions related to COVID-19. For the safety of the staff and the KISD community, we felt that this was unfortunately a necessary step that we had to take. The Texas State Teachers Association filed a grievance today on behalf of KEA with the district. The grievance reading in part, quote, at best, the aspirational goals of the school district are not being implemented in a practical and safe manner for our members. Our members do not feel safe. According to KEA President Rick Bolay, one of the main concerns is safety. What we want is for that to be, I mean, we're in a pandemic. We want that to be the, the primary driver here. It's not that we don't want to work. It is not that we don't wish to teach kids. Some of the claims listed in the grievance allege requests for more effective air filters being denied, employees who have the most interaction with children not being provided with face shields, and some employees being provided with cleaning supplies and others are not. District officials responded with this statement after Six News requested an interview about the grievance. Quote, it would be highly inappropriate for either party to discuss a grievance before the grievance process is adhered to and has been fully exhausted, particularly in an effort to forge public opinion. In the grievance are 20 remedies requested be done by the district, including in-person class size being limited to 30% capacity, allowing members an option to teach students virtually and the district providing students equipment and support teachers to do so, and suspending on-campus instruction, return to virtual learning with, quote, the appropriate technology provided for KISD students in order to facilitate this arrangement. Do you feel that it's realistic for the district to be able to implement all of them? Is it realistic to risk educator lives and student lives by not doing so? It would be our response, right? And that's that's been our concern all along. Thank you, Cole. Now, according to the letter from a TSTA attorney attached to the grievance provided by Six News Buell, they are requesting date and time to hold a grievance hearing over the phone or online. And you can look at that grievance in its entirety at our website, KCEN. TV.com.